Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. And let me know how it goes. Now we're going to take a look at the arcs of a circle. An arc of a circle is the curved part on the outside and it totally relates to the central angle that causes it. So let's look at these examples right here. We've got um, number one, the measure of arc XQ. Now since X and Q are two letters, um, that is a minor arc because it goes less than halfway around the circle. and Obviously, I'm looking at this arc here, the curved part between X and Q. So the key there is to notice that this angle in here is what's left from 180 because XS is a diameter. So 180 minus 40 would give you your answer 140 degrees. So arcs are always measured in degrees when you're talking about the measure of the arc. On number two, the measure of arc VSX. VSX. Let's look at that one. V S X. All right. The important thing to remember here is that this is a 40 degree angle. We have vertical angles inside. So it is going to be 360 degrees all the way around the circle. Take away the 40 that's left. So 320 degrees for that major arc. Next question. What is the measure of arc QXV? QXV. QXV. Now I noticed that XV, or excuse me, the um, VQ segment is obviously a diameter. So easy question there, 180 degrees. Notice that you have a semicircle arc. If it's exactly half the circle, it's a semicircle and it's still considered a major arc. Number four, the measure of arc TSV. TSV would be here. Again, three letters to denote a major arc. So if this angle in here is 40, then this would have to be 50. Notice how it's the other part of the right angle. So we have 360, take away the 50 degrees, and that will give us 310. That major arc, TSV, is 310 degrees. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.